Good morning, Nigeria. Good morning, Africa. Good morning, anywhere you watch us from. My name is Eric Lemibe. And at times, we're telling how it happened inside the sporting world. It is once again on a good morning. Beautiful Saturday morning inside the city of Lagos. On a know how they go now. Uh, once 9.30, don't reach on top WAP TV. Now, time to give a full dose, better jell-off of sport. As I tell you, inside the sporting world. Oh, yeah, Premier League is back. Mm, a lot of things don't come back to the normal side as the matter today happen. Sharply, sharply, without wasting time. Uh, this now Web TV Sport Arena. Oh yeah, call Papa, call Mama, call Sister, call Brother, call Auntie, Molebi, Aradugo. Everybody where they are who tell them say me they come bebu because time to tell them how it happen inside the sporting world door reach. Okay, I know they inside today alone. I do my guys guy because you know to get time. We could just sharply, you know, pieces how it take they happen for inside Nigeria Seashell match. Now we could talk majorly today and we'll just do some kind of paper, uh, you know, review. Mm, but before that time, Nakazim, Nandi inside today with me. Casey, good morning. Good morning, Eric. Hey, how's I'm fine. How are you? We can come. Just roll just roll okay, before we talk about the Nigerian seashell match, you go good make a given a one or two news where they happen inside the world as me and they talk. So Naomi, mm, not be news again, say Naomi Osaka uh, for inside uh, US tennis open. We just finished now. Nashika the Grand Slam, as everybody know, say uh, Naomi Osaka beat Serena Williams to be mama for the game. I'm about to come out and talk, say mm, Naomi Osaka the young talk, say I know the stress too. I no get problem with Serena Williams. Sake of talk, say me and Serena Williams, we still be like five and six. As the matter today happen, he no stop which I think about Serena Williams. Sake of talk, say I did very very tiny small when I don't look Serena Williams. They come say one day I will be like you. When I grow up, I will be like you. As a matter of now, now I would like to even play you for inside the Grand Slam. Okay, the news they go on around. They say uh, people they've been thinking say Serena and uh, Osaka after that time, um, you know, out boss when she boss with the umpire for inside the U.S. Open uh, with the yes say Serena Williams say he been the talk say the umpire and me oh it no go affect me and Naomi our relationship too. But now myself don't come out here and talk say true 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 true. I've been no know how to react after the oh bro ha ha that means after the oh wahala. Say she be no know how to react uh, about the matter. Say, but now, nah, after she don't come think and think and say up and down, Serena Williams still be legend. So, she no get problem with Serena Williams. That now the news for Inside Tennis we'll get for now today. Okay, for under-17 Afghan qualifier uh, with the SA, uh, they don't promise the under-17 uh, 2 million if they beat Ghana for Inside the Matter. Uh, NFF come and say, beat Ghana and collect 2 million. Uh, and I wait till I fit on a bit that because I don't want to talk too much about that matter. Okay, uh, that now what we get for now for the sharp sharp to be that. Okay, for inside studio, me and Kazim there. Casey, Nigeria plays Seychelles. Yeah. And a lot of people get their thinking, their opinion about how it go. Some say we're supposed to be there like 9 0, 13 0. The boys did not come to the party. A lot of tough Z, tough V for inside the matter. How you take Seal? Three goals, three points is enough for what we need. I have nothing else to say. Because I don't know how you expect us to be beating somebody 12-0, 13-0 in Monday Day Football anymore. There is no pushover anywhere again. There is no pushover. Since you now, they are coming gradually now. Before you know it, they will become under Cape Verde, under Mozambique. That before you know it, we will start be talking about ah, when did they start? When did they do this? And not forgetting that this is a, a, a rematch. Um, if you look at that artificial pitch, in fact, this is more than artificial pitch. It's just like an emergency, emergency pitch. Emergency pitch. That they just, they just have to roll out something called a pitch. So these players need to, like, think about their own health, think about their own fitness and all of that. And there are some certain pitch that when you play, if you run like this, there is, a, there is kind of meter you can run that will not affect your knee. So and this isn't just that now. If this player now, if they go carry injury now, nobody go there to go to talk about them. We just but, say but, but a lot of sports analysts, they talk, say, the boys, them Nigerians, then... See if not like this one play. After T D Zero. Come on. I'm not saying that because we win T D Zero, we should not highlight our obvious lapses. But even in that match, I'm not really seeing any it's not as if we are any under pressure. Because none there I didn't watch it like but I've seen the recap of the match. Ninety minutes I watched. It's not as if we are under pressure or we just won by a stroke of luck. No, we won the match convincingly. Three zero, three goals, three points on the road, Baba. I don't know what else to say. <sighs> okay. Now, see, they happen for inside the world. Now, they're telling us so. NFF don't promise under 17. Two million era should they beat Ghana. Must money be the motivational factor? Money should not be the motivational factor. But I will have to thank NFF a bit. 
Because if you look at the crop of players we have this in this under 17 now, it's not just player that will just go and assemble all of a sudden. It's a player that they assemble through some uh, um, some some event that they've, they've really bring out in the past, like under 15, like the one they went for in the youth championship they went for in in, in all years. So a lot of these players they've been integrated into the team gradually. Nobody said they just go pick this one, pick that one when the competition won't start. Because if you look at it now, the way they even qualify to the final now, if you look at the first match, they lost the first match against Burkina Faso. People were like, hey, ah, hey ah, they don't come home. They don't come home. But luckily for us, luckily for us, Burkina Faso lost to Ivory Coast against all odds. Because we felt that beating Burkina Faso, I mean, beating, beating Cordova, 5-1. I mean, I mean, Ivory Coast now, 5-1. Yeah, we were all like, there will be like another pushover for Burkina Faso. But the game was not like that. Thank God, uh, Ivory Coast were able to march out Burkina Faso for us. But unlike, it's not about the money anymore. It's just about giving these guys. The money should be there. That, is, that will be the composition, which I agree very much. But it's not really about the money. Even because I was looking at the future of these players now. It's about two things now. Beating Ghana now is one thing. Then that means that they just qualified for the for Africa. The Africa for the, of you understand? It's not because they're playing, they playing the uh, it's like zone a zone, group. You understand? Zone it's like a zonal group now. Yeah. You understand? So that they will be able to cut all the costs and everything. Like that. The two million is okay. But beyond the two million, okay, let's look at it in another perspective now. Which many people will not be want to agree with you? If we lost against Africa, I mean, against Ghana now, and we will fail to qualify for the Africa Champions League Championship, what will happen to the fate of this player? Hmm. Maybe well, you understand. I, I know. I know you know. Understand. I know, I, I, you hey, cannot play it twice. Twi hey, hey, you you, you graduate. Just, just once you play it, is that how you pass or you fail? Or you fail. That, that is the end of it. That is not like I will come back next year or mm -hmm. next two years. You can't be seventeen. That, again, you can't be seventeen though. again. No I matter like. how you say you want to be you smart. Graduate. So that's my own worry now. That I think that this player now that because this is one of the few times. And if you look at the players. Not many that even when we, I want to claim that we went with youthful player and even now. No, but this time around, I think the MIRS test actually had to put pressure on NFF to go with really young but, but players. But even at that, we know what happened to like three players. Oh, come on, <laughs> <laughs> but the two million is okay. The two million is okay for the guys. It's okay for them. It's a motivational factor for them as well. But let them let NFF beyond the money. Let them Make them work. Them. Make them work with this player. These are future players, so that by the time we know it, after after that one now, under twenty will come up. In fact, you understand. In fact, under twenty will be coming up before the under seventeen. Under twenty will be coming around February. In is not. I think it is in uh, uh, what's it called? Niger Republic as well. Mm -hmm. So the under seventeen will be the under twenty will be coming up. The under seventeen will be coming up in Tanzania. That will be around May June. They should just allow this player to integrate, win or lose. They are future star. Let them continue with it. All right, still on the matter for here, uh, before we go for this short break, Moku talks more about the FIBA because uh, the female basketball matter, eh, it they really, really chop into uh, the system of some people. And some people, they para say, how come our system for basketball don't they pull us like this? No, be my boy again. I say three players, they dropped for airport before they move, uh, come up for inside uh, Nigeria to go put legs like and what you could do for the FIBA competition where they go on as me and they talk. That's the female basketball, uh, you oh, know, God. tournament as me and they talk. So now a lot of critics don't come out and say, after these girls don't qualify, they can't drop three of them for airport. Go, go put foreign players. Casey, what do you think about this? I see your comment on top, uh, Twitter and Facebook about that. What do you think? <laughs> well, what can we say? We are, in, we are in kind of a dilemma. Why I say we are in kind of a dilemma is that even for us to be able to put up one team going for this tournament, we know what happened last year and yeah, last year. They get four now. Team, two teams. You understand? Get two coaches. At the end of the day, we went to an event. They, would, they did not allow Nigeria to participate because we, we went there with... The same thing is still happening with the... With the, with, the, with the Tigers. But let's go back to the Tigers now. Well, because of the situation we find ourselves, it's not it's uncalled for. Let us call it speed. It's, it's uncalled for. If you are not going to be invited, there's no need of hyping the player or trying to give her the hope that until she gets to the airport, you know, the emotional trauma and everything. And this has been the player that has been part of the team. I don't want to start mentioning him so that it's me as you. But no matter you understand, it. but no matter what, if this player are not meant to be in the, in the uh, to make the trip, just sideline them right away from the beginning, so that not until getting to the airport, you're going to break their hearts. You're going to break their hearts. So and you and know the what they're going to do their sportsmanship self. You understand? The mentality they will get for their, for their talent. You understand? They want talent. Everything, as in going back to their club. How do they want them to perform? We are all human beings. It's, it's, it's meant for our players to be dropped, but not to the stage of getting to the airport. Airport, drop them uh, before uh, they even drop, go. Drop them before they even go. It means that getting to the airport, they have been into the camp together. Sit together, get they the visa. They're gonna even they're gonna uh, take pictures. You understand? Get the visa together. 
Air Force not be uh, not be embassy uh, now. Say they go for interview mm -mm, for visa. Mm -mm. Air Force means say you are about to board the flight with them now. Airport na bus stop. Oh. Na bo, my no, brother. No get on to say. Eh? Airport na bus just on a plane. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we could begin peruse the papers for this morning as the matter today happen. Na Newcastle versus Arsenal live today, 3 p.m. Now that match go be. And they say, check. Now they are say Arsenal's away from must improve. Gunners go keeper expect a difficult game at St. James Park. Now waiting the apple for there. They say, Truce Ekong, uh, bring it on. Now Truce Ekong, the young too. For inside there, I'm mean, not forget say he be like himself. Eh? Mm, the cast to the shaka, they do have somehow, somehow for body. <laughs> it's a good one for Truce Ekong. It's a good one for him. You know when he moved, come to England, we all say that at least we give us the opportunity to be seeing him week in week out and to assess his performance. It's a good. That's one thing. Premier League always have many players that you give you, you put them to limelight, and you nobody know, say that could talk, say he score, say. You have the opportunity just to watch him live so that you be able to make an assessment of him. Did he make the team? Was he on the bench? When he made the team, what was his performance like? Did he give a good account of himself? It's a good one. And for Arsenal, check it's really good for him to be worried about Arsenal away from because if you look at throughout this year now, they've not won more than three or four matches over mm. the year, calendar year now, mm. on the road. Last season, they won just like two matches. So this is now they just won won away matches against Watford, if I'm not mistaken. So they have to be worried because on the road last season they lost to so many teams so that many you are small just teams. Uh, we, 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 we can't teams. even ask you. Everything that happened to Arsenal now. So by and large, you can't say they are back yet until they give it out against uh, Newcastle United. Let's see what's going to happen. It's going to be an epic anyway, match. Anyway, discussing this with my friend and we just ended up uh, labeling check all the card away they just pray. You know, because... Baba, if you look at check record, if you call him anything, you call him. When you want to call him, now you know that one. Go keep <laughs> No, no, is your, is your, you understand? The, go go the keep that in wine. So, the what, are you, what are you now saying? The likes of uh, Shawn Michael, the likes of the, 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 the likes of Nifandaza, no Dinosov, come back to Buffon. As they old, as they the better. You, you can't begin to ask yourself, for your mind, you can't pity them and say, ah, Baba. Baba, who's in Paragale, <laughs> <by Kilo Shelley. laughs> All right, for middle of the paper, Mikel de Yana to say, I am the luckiest dad in the world. Super Eagles keeper. God celebrates his adorable twin. You know, he did for complete sport, na complete sport, na Karam this morning. <laughs> As a matter of the B. Neymar sales. Barcelona denied 6.6 million payment to execute before. Before. Barcelona won't go buy Neymar back. Be cool. Obama Young, Moxie Wobby for changing room rap. <laughs> I play the they play. I'm not going to say that they get quarrel. Oh. Okay. Okay, Boateng, Ronaldo will get 30 goals for inside Juventus. Now, I think Boateng, the year now be that. Uh, sure, Rashford, miss out. Uh, but Fellaini travels as the matter today happened. For today, Watford, Manchester United match. And I saw the matter bill. And with the yesterday, they don't give uh, Mourinho 100 million to go buy players. Finally, finally. They gave Baba money to go and buy player. Oh, I want to buy an international player. I want to buy an international player. Finally, oh, you are going to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> more look at that Manchester United uh, fans. They go fish smile small. Mm -hmm. like, I, 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 I know you will, you will go and tweet at me again. You will come in, is, but go say Kato coming. Emergency calls for improvement uh, from, uh, from Ozil. Now, it's in be that. Uh, they say Ozil. Must improve as the matter today happened. Newcastle versus Arsenal today match page two. Now you go read that one for Sporting Life for there. Sterling asks for 100 k weekly pay rise. Manchester City full arm. You go read down there and with the yes, Pep Guardiola said, "Talk to true, true, true." Sterling deserve that pay rise. What you think, Sterling? Pay rise. One of the most improved player in the recent time is Ryan Sterling. If you want to discuss about Stanley, because I need to look at this again. That I, is it that they want to add 100k to his pay, or Sally is not collecting, he's not any up to 100k per week? They want to add to it 100k mm. to his because I want, I, I fear, say, Sterling of a player, you know, he, he's been most improved, improved player. Even Bills, sorry, Mokuteka, Rabiu, Rabiu from Quara. Hello, Rabiu, good morning. Oh. All right, try call us back. Number one, I will call you on top of that TV screen. And if you don't on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Sport Arena. You know, road on top of Twitter. Follow us at Web TV Sport Arena. Now, the place where we will talk with that. Okay, moving on. Now, still Sport Arena. The watch will talk about Ryan Sterling for inside the studio. Yeah, you say that the most improved player. One of the most improved player in England and for, for Man City as well. And even if you look at the World Cup now, what happened around that World Cup is going back to what happened to Serena Williams. 
people really misjudge what happened to Sterling Armenians. They thought that you want to take away the shine or the glory from Osaka. It's not really like that. The way it happened. It's not like that. This is about cumulative effect of what has been happening. If you have never been having problem with institution before, when I mean institution, you understand what I mean. If you have never had any problem with institution, we don't, we don't know what Serena Williams is facing. Serena Williams is facing, is fighting for the, for the, for the black race. Let me just put it that way. But don't even go there, leave that if 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 you say, if you say, make me go there. Say, Eric, Serena Eric, Eric, boss, Eric, Eric, leave Eric, that Eric, scene. Eric. I watched the show on, on Wednesday. Yes. I intend to call, but I'm going to go there, grab you from Kwara Jari. Hello, grab you. I, I'm listening, I'm listening. I did hear you. Now we're supposed to hear you, Jari. Give your comment. Uh -huh. I want you to be shown that you have the Nigeria match. Thank Nigeria. you very much, sir. We have heard you. Nigeria. Nigeria what? <laughs> the basketball. Eh? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, I think it's like. It, it, Ni Nigeria, Liberia. Okay, Nigeria, we show up on Wednesday now. We show up on Wednesday. I, I did hear you. You say. Baba. Serena Williams is one of the athletes, the most athletes, mm. uh, tennis athletes that has been tested, is most athletes that has been put into spotlight in negative perspective. Kilo the people, on Naomi Kilo the, the, ship, the, ship, the ship spot at Naomi. No. Was Naomi the umpire? No. Then why are you saying that she's trying to take away the glory away from Naomi? No, I'm not you, saying she's trying to take and, the glory. And, Calm and, down. And wait. Again and again. Was this the first time Naomi will be beating Serena? No. So what was the big deal? Wait, now calm down. Grand Slam winning. Ikona, baby body, I'm supposed to win it. I'm a Naomi, a small girl. That one, they one corner. She did not attack Naomi in any form. It's not even but, about... If, if, you, if you make the president as if Ikona, mm. then it's still about Naomi and her. And this is not about Naomi. It's about... Oh, yeah, no, he get beat up any Nobody was... Nobody was... Nobody was... Nobody was... Nobody was... Nobody was... Okay, more shuffle, shuffle. Uh, matches for today. Uh, Tottenham Hotspur go play Liverpool for 12.30 p.m. Uh, case, what's your prediction? Tottenham Hotspur, mm. Liverpool, best bet, go go. Go go. go, go. Just because both it. of them are goal scoring you teams. You understand, you understand. All right. Uh, Bournemouth go play Leicester City for 3 p.m. What do you think for that matter? Own team to score. Own team to score. Alex, what do you think for that one? <laughs> <laughs> it is stressful. <laughs> okay, straight win. What Bobo for you straight win? Wow. Bobo go beat Leicester City. Can you, really? Home team to score. Home team to score. That's Bobo now you have the carry. Home team to score. Hey, yeah, now. Chelsea carry from call 3 p.m. Neither match happen. Chelsea, of course, we know. Uh, 3 p.m. Uh, 3, 3, 3, yeah, 3 p.m. 3 point. <laughs> okay, Honda Speed go play Crystal Palace 3 p.m. Uh, Honda Speed Crystal Palace. One X. 1x. Yeah, 1x. Crystal Palace, you two are we? <laughs> okay. Newcastle versus Arsenal. Okay, Newcastle Arsenal. I, I, I go like I go like to know whether this go one go, go green. Go go. Go go. Go go. go, go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what for Manchester United? But I don't use Watford play. Oh. Now Manchester United though. Oh. What for straight win? Ah, uh, but your players they don't come back to form. Oh. You said the carry what for straight win. No, uh, Okay. Man, man, you told me now. <laughs> what man, you told me? Man, you. Could you be a man, you now? Man, you. Uh, make it man, you. We know they call a Manchester again now. Okay. <laughs> we'll not get time again. More they go. My name is Eric Lemibe, and I do our Kazim today. Uh, before we run, uh, tomorrow, Sunday, Wolf go play Burnley. Everton go play West Ham. On a Monday, Sam Tanting go play Brighton. When I buy Gary. Thank I'm you for watching. I'm, I'm feedback, feedback qualifier is going on. <laughs> feedback qualifier. No, we go, we go talk to feedback qualifier on Wednesday. Uh, you might need to go there around that time. And also go cool down. Peru is the matter. When I buy Gary. Thank you for staying tuned. Continue to watch WAP TV. Better, better programs. See the coming away. Family Entertainment Channel.